Nature Global, the Illuminate, and the Astral Spirit. So having the Anti-Mage, you know, it gives you, I wouldn't say extremely strong late game because I think at this point Team Empire actually has the super late game secured with the Enigma, Razor, and Gyrocopter. And, you know, Anti-Mage, he has a very interesting power curve. He's ex He's extremely strong once he gets to the six items and he gets to them probably faster than anyone else if he's allowed the space, but once you get into that super late game, like beyond the 60 minute mark, he sort of tends to drop off just because, for one, he's a melee hero, and two, pretty much the only thing, he, he always has to keep a battle fury, so that pretty much makes one of your slots not as effective in the late game, so... It's like the 35 to 40 minute mark is where he really yeah. thrives, and from there on out, he'll he'll have some decent time as well. But like you talked about later on, not so much. But I imagine with Team Secrets lineup, they shouldn't have any trouble pushing into the base if they can find a couple of pickoffs. Although Flat Cannon, Razor, and even like Enigma and Puck, they have good wave clear, obviously. But will they be able to stop the pressure from Team Secret? That's the question. And the answer we'll find out. Bane is picked up for Team Empire's last pick, so good support in lane coming out. The Beastmaster for Team Secret. Um, and Zach, actually just watching the uh, academy of hmm. Beastmaster, like, well, yeah, that makes sense. It's CD. I mean, you're going to see Beastmaster so occasionally, but S4 BM. Yeah, that's actually that's great. Roar against the Enigma is going to be huge. Um, mm -hmm. One of the reasons why I think they picked up the hero because they needed some way to deal with the black hole, but. Other than that, I mean, just for ganking as well, this could do a lot of damage early on. And it's one of those heroes that's really effective around that 20, 30, to even 40 minute time when Anti-Mage is going to get really farmed, so... Also, it's quite good against with uh, combinate, comboed with the Nature's Prophet. You can get up the global, you know, with the Nature's Wrath, and then you can TP onto a Beastmaster hawk, like near where Beastmaster is, and Beastmaster can initiate a fight. And you can go for a pick-off play with the Beastmaster Nature's Prophet, so... They will have some synergy there, and they're going to have a lot of global presence with the Nature's Prophet and Keeper of the Light Reef, so I expect yeah. to see maybe even a bots coming out from the Beastmaster. We've seen that quite a few times before, and it would actually it would give them so much map control, this game. It almost feels like when you pick a Beastmaster, you'd see a Tinker come along with it, the old, mm -hmm. uh, I guess, what was it? point for strategy whatever you want to call it at that point in time beastmaster now that it, he's picked here i agree with you completely they're going to try to put some pressure pressure all over the map this is not your typical nature's prophet anti-mage let's rat dota type of yeah. uh, a team it's it's more of a let's let's kill people as much as possible and for team secret that shouldn't be too difficult but with team empire we'll see how they play Again, this is the first game here in a two-game series between Team Empire and Team Secret. Team Secret currently 2-0 uh, in the Dota Pit League Season 2, winning their only match. I forget who it was against, but at the same time, they had one. And they'll look for a 4-0 here and uh, to move up. But Team Empire, they're setting at 4-2, I believe. And they're looking to continue on with their nice performance here in Group B. And we have a pause, apparently. I'm not sure what happened. Looks like we had some disconnects. Reconnects back into the game. Oh, you Not can pause during this. Game yet. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can pause as an observer in console. Uh, I think we're resuming the game. Are we ready to go? I'm not sure. Solo seems to be Ten resuming it. Remaining. What's going on? All right, we're picking up our heroes. Yes. Finally, we get in the game. We did it, man. We've arrived. All right, good stuff. So, again. Two game series for Dota Pit. Thanks for joining us, guys. Shout out to the sponsors Twitch, Sennheiser, Sapphire, Tes Tesro, and of course AMD. So we will jump into the game, and so far the lineup's looking pretty standard. So for your Empire squad, we're going to have Silent playing your Gyrocopter. We'll have Solo playing your Bane up in the top lane as well. Always want to fly, going to be heading to the jungle on the Enigma. It's going to be Scandal playing your Razor, and down bottom, the off lane puck played by Yoki. That'll round out your Empire Dire lineup. And on the side of Secret, we're going to have Puppy playing the Keeper of the Light, Kuroki playing the Anti-Mage, Big Daddy No-Tail on the Elder Titan, Secret playing the mid lane Beastmaster, and Simba in the offlane Nature's Prophet. Yeah, he's got Boots first as well, some regen, so... Um, and looks like, yep, they're going to do a Puppy Kuroki down bottom here with the Elder Titan as well to help out. Um, they're going to, I think, ward real quick with No-Tail and then head back to the bottom lane. But yeah, mid Beastmaster up against the Razor. This matchup is 
Yeah, they're already... somewhat difficult, but they might get bored to help him with making sure the static link isn't going to be too big of an issue. I'm not sure. Uh, I actually think Beastmaster can actually do quite well on this line if uh, he goes, he opts for the early boar point mm. because yeah. boar is actually extremely difficult to deal with as a range here. It actually tanks so many auto attacks and it's going to prevent him from linking and getting a long duration link off. So Puppy does find the ward placed by Yoki in the offline. So we're going to go ahead and deward that up. Put a lot of extra pressure onto this puck now that he doesn't have any vision of these supports. Yeah, this is gonna be difficult. What are the chances the puppy gets an early point in mana league just to make sure that Yoki can't really mm -hmm. jaunt away? I would say fairly low because he's in against an Enigma, and I actually expect him to play extremely greedy in this jungle because I think he's just gonna stack and farm the jungle. Mm -hmm. Maybe start pulling first, but gonna be looking to play extremely greedy in this jungle as they are in against against an enigma and they didn't actually take any sort of measures to slow down the enigma at all so no, they didn't put any words in his jungle he's just gonna have free farm here and he probably could get to a very fast mech if that's what always one fly is gonna go for let's yeah. wait and see so as far as surprisingly is winning the mid lane but it is early he does have his bottle already and he will be able to crow if necessary. He's got four last hits, a lot of that with axes, obviously. Top lane. This off lane is not too bad for Simba. Even if he gets nightmared up, he's got boots, so if he gets rocket barrage, he should be able to run away decently well. Homing missile might be an issue, but already there's only one point in rocket barrage, so we'll see how that plays out. And uh, as far as everything else goes, it's just farm control. Although Scandal is licking a lot of damage from S4, as you can see. I'll take a hit, but... It's only 35 damage, actually, at its first level, so not too bad. And Scandal actually got kind of low by doing so. He's going to be careful. Yep. It looks like Puppy does stack the small camp and is able to clear that out with the Illuminate and the Creep Wave assistance. And you're going to probably just see him be as greedy in the jungle as possible, like I said, just because he's against an Enigma. And he can't really zone out this Puck. To be completely honest, I mean, he, sure, he could spam some Illuminates, be sort of annoying, but they don't really have any kill pressure in this offlane. No, it's difficult. They really need stop, and even with that, I mean, there's no real way. There's no 100% guarantee you're going to lock this puck down and get a kill. It's just too hard. Big Daddy is going to try to right-click him down, but it's not the easiest thing. Now, the question is, what does Puppy go for in terms of vitamization? Is it going to be that early mech like you see on an Enigma in the jungle? Uh, for Puppy? Uh, yes. Yeah, most likely. I think... Every time I've seen them run this coddle, I think he just plays extremely greedily in the jungle, sometimes going for the Tranquil Boots first. I've also actually seen Mana Boots quite a few times coming out from Puppy on the Keeper of the Light, just so that he can mostly focus all of his chakras on his allies. Mm -hmm. And it actually gives you a lot more mana sustain. Such selfless play also, just to see Arcanes come out. Like, it's so hard to, like, not chakra yourself. Like, listen, wait your turn. I'll get to you in a second. All right? But now he's he's actually just... And that's the way he always plays, I feel like, in the jungle with his enchanters, with his Chen. He'll throw up a creep mid and just try to win that matchup for whoever's playing. Um, mm -hmm. So he's done a nice job. Meanwhile, Kuroki jump again. Yoki has to jaunt away. The right click coming up. The mana break is there. This would take too much to ask coming through. We'll see if Kuroki goes for the Brainy build. He has three points already, one into each of the uh, abilities. Let's see if he gets stats next, so... Uh, he's gonna go on to Yoki again. Just blinks over one right click and then back to the lane, it looks like. He does have nine last hits, so Kuroki's not having the best time in this safe lane, whereas 12 last hits coming out for the Gyrocopter, 20 last hits for Spindle mid. And in fact, they're going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The boar is dead on the ground, straight across, but already yep. the carnage happening. So His he is going for work. that two points in boar with the two points in axes. I expect him to see... I would actually expect to see the boar being maxed first in this matchup. Just because it gives you probably the best chance of winning or going... Well, I mean, he has no chance of winning this, I think. But at least going somewhat even in this lane. It's like playing... Oh, well, hold up, thought. He's going to use the static link coming in Scandal. It's going to like 42 damage, about 56. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the amount of damage. And S4 I mean, doesn't seem to mind, but... This lane is really rough from S4. He's at 10 CS to the 22 of Razor. And... Maybe not... Maybe he should have opted for a stout shield, perhaps. Not entirely sure, but... Really struggling right now in the mid lane. I think he could do... Okay, it's, it's almost like a DK, but he doesn't have that level 6 comeback potential with your Elder Dragon form. He can't really push down towers. Um, the best he could do is try to gank, and he doesn't have level 6 yet. 
Meanwhile, Yoki down bottom continues to get harassed. He's got 700 gold with his booth already done, so not too bad for the puck. Scandal has 27 last hits, like we talked about. The Enigma is free farming the jungle, obviously, as his soul already completed. Top lane, looks like they might be looking for a chakra here on Simba. I don't think they'll try to gank that with Puppy anyway. They could try to pressure Silent, but uh, right now it's, it's mostly just get Simba his farm. Puppy will roam around the map and... Wow, and Kuroki is only sitting at 16 CS at 5 minutes in the game, so... I haven't been paying much attention to this safe lane, but... They've He's been harassed. I mean, Yoki doing a really good job at denying CS from anti-mage. I mean, being at 18 is a safe lane tri lane against a solo hero is... Really not something that you want to see happening. Now, it's been a bit rough. Uh, it's unusual, I think, to see Kuroki in this situation, but he can get back rather quickly, assuming he gets his Battle Fury at a decent time. I mean, he can still have that happen. Um, not the best start. Meanwhile, mid lane, there is going to be a Static League Scandal going on S4. Is that S4 going on Scandal? They first blood absolutely used his Roar. He gets the kill. The boar was there as well, and S4 comes in and draws first blood with the Beastmaster. The Axe is doing a lot of the work there. That's actually huge coming up for S4. Yep. Boar playing a huge role there. He couldn't run away, so he tries to focus the bear, but it's a little bit too late. And S4 are going to go ahead and secure that first blood solo kill. And really, I mean, really well played by him. He's in a very difficult matchup, is able to get that kill, and that pretty much evens the gold in the mid lane. Top lane, Simba getting Rock Rush. Puppy's low as well. They'll take a return kill coming through, and they get the last hit on Simba as well with Solo coming in. Two dead, so as soon as they get first blood for Secret, Silent strike back. The Empire Sh Oh, God. You know what? I almost made that pun. I'm really glad that I didn't. Oh, God. All right. I thought almost about tilted there before this series. Well. I don't want to feel fish on my hands. Yoki's going to get uh, Astral, but he's fine. It looks like he's got a jaunt away, and Kroki's not going to go any further. Although he has Mana Void, there is still plenty of mana to work with. So He's actually done more harassing, I think, than farming in this lane. He's got 28 last hits, so... He is catching up, I guess, to a certain extent, but he's still pretty far behind. Solo is going to pause in an There's interesting some time. some creeps here for Dyer. I'm kind of confused. They... I don't know what happened there. <laughs> they, they're running down. They, I, they, I need to get to the tier journey. 3 tower. Please. This is my mission. No, he's actually just going to die to the tower, unfortunately. Um... But, yeah, that offline, Simba going down for the first time was kind of interesting, and now he's actually headed to the jungle here. He has a belt of strength, he's got the boots of speed as well, so... Mm -hmm. And um, if we go ahead and look at the gold, about 3,000 for Empire, 2,500 experience. Pretty much solely coming out from the Enigma, and I would also say they did very well in these lanes in terms of CS. If we look at the CS difference in the mid lane... It's going to be about 20 CS difference there. The safe lane, Silent, about 10 CS ahead of Kuroki in the safe lane. So Empire doing really well during these, this laning stage. But I mean, it, it's sort of to be expected with how greedy Secret picked, especially with these two support heroes, with the Elder Titan and the Coddle. Not really mm. support heroes that can get much done during the laning phase. They're really holding out for that, again, that 40 minute mark where... Kuroki is going to be at his best. And at some point, you have to wonder when Empire put the pressure on because this is a really good start to them. I wouldn't say they won every lane, but they came about as close as possible to doing so. Um, because obviously, Yoki's not going to get free farm up against the anti mage. However, he did a really good job of making sure Kuroki is just not having a good time. Phone is the issue for Empire, as they say. And uh, the horse comes Phone. out. Phone. I listen, man. Oh, I think we're boy. good. Just a quick phone call. It's sometimes it's important. And here we go. Back into the game we go. Seven minutes underway. S4 sitting mid now. And that first blood I think really gave him a lot to work with. Otherwise, this would have been a really rough lane, like you mentioned, for S4. But getting the kill onto Scandal, making sure he stops his CS. It does a little bit. He has Roar again if he wants to go gank. He has bottle. Uh, an illusion rune. He's also got all uh, pretty much 1300 gold, so he's getting closer and closer to a point tagger if he wants to pick that up, which I think should be his first item. Maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, on S4? Yeah. Yeah, most likely the blank dagger first. Unless he wants to go for some other build like a necro book, but I think we're gonna see that blank dagger just so that he can set up some kills, possibly with the Furion where he blinks ults and then he gets the ult from Furion as well as the TP support. 
They're gonna try to gank right now in Scandal. They've got three heroes mid. They're gonna look for the Roar here. And uh, S4 is gonna walk up to the high ground. There's the Plasma Field going in. Roar getting canceled. The Astral Spirit is gonna go. And it looks like it was just a bit off the tar off the target there, so they couldn't get a gank going in. There's actually a wrapper on Smoke Cake coming in from the Enigma as the Bandit S4 getting caught out. The Nightmare is going to go. They're probably going to Malphite him as well. And Brain Sap will fly S4. He's going to run up and always want to fly, but this is not going to go well. They have to cancel the TP coming in from Simba. And a bit unfortunate that S4 walks right into Doom, essentially. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the wraparound, Yoki mid looking for a big daddy. Not going to catch him out, though. And, you know, something that I didn't actually consider was how, since in this patch, Wild Axes have been completely move to physical damage and they do 160 each so giving them 220 total physical damage is actually pretty huge when you have an elder titan as it's going to reduce reduce 100 percent base recoil scandal going in static link simba silence waiting rift got off right as yoki got up to the high ground big daddy no tail getting chased down as well but they're not going to go for him they're already putting pressure on the top tower and Silent is looking for a call down or a rocket barrage. The boar's gonna pull the creep wave back. Solo's gonna brain sap. Roar is not available, and he's just gonna TP away. Solo should stay alive here. Tower's still taking damage, but I don't know if they'll be able to take it. He's getting chased down by the Astral. Now they're trying to converge. Simba looking for a sprout. He's gonna fight it, but there is gonna be an immediate tango. Actually, it's a quad blade coming out from Silent's shower copter. Fantastic that he had that item ready to go. And quelling an item that we sometimes see on Gyrocopter, I definitely think it's good this game with the tree sprout so that he can always make sure that he can get out of that, but it's going to allow him to clear up these ancients or jungle stacks that much faster. Although it doesn't really look like there's any ancient stacks at the moment, and Secret have complete knowledge of that with that well-placed ward. This is a nice ward. I have not seen this one yet, but... Certainly gives them a lot of vision. I feel like that blocks Radiant's the spawn as well. That'd be pretty exceptional if it did. Um, you're probably right, but we'll have to test that theory at some point. They do take the tier 1 tower top. It was actually just taken by the Dire. Meanwhile, mid lane, they're rotating on a scandal. They have Sprout coming through. Simba is going to pop it up, and they will catch him out. Astral Spirit going as well. There's the roar. The Axis as well. And scandal is going to take a fall. It looks like the right click coming in. The Dream Coil as well. Illusory up. Always want to fly. Black Hole is going to go. It's going to catch on it too. And they get the Phoenix Group on Simba. Huge play from Empire. Call down is going to go. Simba is in some trouble. He's going to take a spill. Always want to fly. The Black Hole Master coming in. Double kill. Great setup from the Dream Coil from Yoki. What a turnaround in that fight. The yeah, Empire Ooh. are playing surprisingly well in this game. I mean... Yoki having a really good offlane game, you know, he was keeping up with the AM and CS in the early phase, but like we said, not a lot of pressure able to come out from the supports on Secret. Enigma doing a good job, just free farming away in the jungle. Mid lane, I would say Scandal did a really good job in the mid lane, although it's a pretty expected to win matchup. Mm -hmm. So. I like what Empire are doing now. They rotate down bottom. They know that they have to try to some way get this kill on Anti-Mage at some point in time. Mm -hmm. And Bane with the Fiends group will do just that, but... He's getting recalled. They are re away. recalling him, yeah. They're going to head towards the mid lane. They're going to have Radiant's Kuroki farm mid, and this is just going to be happening throughout the entire game. So I, I think that despite Empire getting off to a, a fast start, Kuroki is going to be able to do what Kuroki always does and maybe farm up a, a battle for you and get to carrying this team, but... He's still yeah. kind of far off from that. He needs his broadsword, which he actually has the money for. But... I think it's actually quite unfortunate for Secret that Kuroki had such a poor laning face, like in terms of CS, because I think he could actually have his battle fury right now if he had been farming better. Yeah, he'd be, he's already pretty close to it. S4 is going to get caught out. There's going to be the call down coming in. It's going to be on the edge. Does not connect with the rock barrage will. And the Malphite helps secure the kill with Silent getting it done. And all the meanwhile, Scandal takes the bottom tier one tower. I really like how Always Wanna Fly has got involved in these ganks. He's not been passively farming the jungle, although he already has his mech. He'll have his tread soon. They've really gotten a couple of kills. And not only that, but they're getting involved with the Gyrocopter as well with Call Down and Rocket Barrage, who already has his Yasha. Yep. And, I mean, Secret are actually in quite a difficult position. Down 7,500 gold, almost 6,000 experience, and... It's not going to get any better for them anytime soon. They really need to get a couple items on this anti-mage so that he can start split pushing and applying a lot of pressure onto the side of Empire. But if it's only anti-mage against four, I mean, they can just expend the black hole. You know, they have the Fiend's Grip. Yeah. They have a lot of tools in a 
that enable them to gank the anti-mage when he's pushing, so... They're playing very solid Dota, and that, that sounds like a mod note that it is, but... I mean, Empire are in a position right now where they actually have a blink on Yoki at 12 or 13 minutes into the game. They're looking to push on the mid, and Solo is here, but he's getting spout, scouted out by these Treants. Sprouted out, if you will, haha. <laughs> as far as looking to maybe throw up a roar here, 1700 gold for him. He's going to try to get the blink tagger. He's still not there yet, so... I mean, Yoki already has a blink, whereas S4 is still behind in that category. And uh, they will illuminate the creep wave, just blowing it up. And Stomp's going to hit on the scandal. He's kind of low. They still have mech. The Earth Blood is going to fly. Nature's Wrath goes as well. That actually wakes him up, I believe. And Scandal is going to back away. Silent in the meantime gets the kill on Kuroki down bottom. They feeds grip him. I completely missed the kill. And I thought there was going to be action mid. Oh, well. They get it done. And he did not have his Battle Fury. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I feel like this game is actually slipping away from Secret. They're just a little bit too far behind for this strategy to work. I think maybe if they were only 5,000 gold behind and Kirby had his Battle Fury already, then they might be in an okay place. But as it currently stands, I mean, Gyrocopter farming really well. They're finding the pickoffs they need. They're getting the towers and the map control and... It's a really Ooh, hard place. place. Yoki gets roared up. Brain Step's gonna go S4. He's in some trouble. He's like, please, God, help me. Illusion you are, but no, he's dead. Solo comes in, and Yoki helps pick up the kill. So when they get one kill or when they get room to farm, they just lose another one across the map. And I I think this is really a rough situation to be in. I mean, Kuroki is going to finish his Battle Fury at maybe 15 minutes, and he won't even have treads at that point, which... Uh, we used to talk about Battle Fury timings. We used to think 15 minutes was good. At least I did. But well, it depends on if you go treads or not. Yeah, exactly. Well, he doesn't have those at this point. Uh, generally, rough. if you have free farm in the safe lane, it's like if you go straight Battle Fury, it's like 11 minutes with boots. No such luck this game for Kuroki. Tower's gonna get denied, luckily, by uh, No Tail. He does have Tranquils, he does have Soul Ring. But Illuminate's gonna come through. Solo is looking for Fiends. He has it at three seconds. They're trying to find somebody. They are balling up, but they're trying to push down towers. And if they can take these tier twos and put some pressure on a Kuroki and make sure he can't farm safely in his jungle, they're really gonna have a tough time. Simba's gonna go top. Battle Fury is now done at 15 minutes coming up for Kuroki, so he does have the comeback potential. But he has to avoid these uh, Empire heroes. I mean, they could just kill him. I mean, if, if you look at the position. vision of Empire, I mean, they're gonna have so much vision of where Kuroki is. They have excellent wards right now. They literally have wards just all over the enemy map, really. It's just the jungle on their side of the river. I mean, there's this one aggressive ward coming out from uh, Secret. Actually, that, really, I really like this, this ward uh, when you're playing against an anti-mage, because not only does it give you vision of where anti-mage is, but it actually blocks two of the camps that anti-mage wants to farm. This is going to actually limit his comeback potential, because usually when you're playing anti-mage and after you get the battle fury, you want to be farming your entire jungle every minute, as well as the ancients, maybe even the enemy ancients, and one lane at the same time. And that's really how you get up your huge gold advantage. Luckily, he's able to start farming ancients now. Uh, again, like you talked about, though, the magic bush ward coming out, so this blocks a couple of the camps. It is easily counterable, but at this point... Are they going to invest the money into these sentries? You look at it, Puppy actually only has a Vit Booster and a Tranquil Boot pickup. Um, and in fact, No-Tail has a Void Stone. I think he's going for a Yules. I believe you, we've talked about this before. I think yep. Elder Titan goes for Yule Scepter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It gives you a really easy combo with your Echo Stomp. So you just Yules and then you Spirit and then you Echo Stomp. Yep. It's a very good setup to get these skills and probably the item that they're going to be looking towards to find pickoffs and try to get back into this game. So it looks like S4 and No Tail are gonna try to find Scandal in the mid lane. Will they go for this dive? He's underneath the tower. They could have mass deep rotations here. I think this they have the scout hawk nearby. This would be a mistake, I think, to go for the skill. And um, they don't have do they have vision? Scandal is actually extraordinarily tanky. He picks up the plate mail very so early. Might die, with... Roar is gonna come in, there's the air splitter, the after spirit, blink away, solo is gonna die. So that was a good kill, but the Dream Call coming in, it's going to be on to two. One breaks already. There's the call down going in. The Waiting Rift and Puppy and Big Daddy are in some trouble. Rocket Barrage, Big Daddy's going to fall first. Puppy getting chased on. Silent gets a dominating spree. This does give, again, more room for Kuroki in the jungle, but at the cost of two, two of his heroes. Uh, and I guess they get the kill on Solo, but still. Kind of rough. Yeah. So they do get one kill, but every time they're finding these kills, they all Empire always gets the better end of these exchanges because they have the counter initiation from Puck, who 
has been on point with these Dream Coils. They have massive AoE damage with the Enigma and the Gyrocopter. As well as the Razor Plasma Field, actually, and... I mean, Secret just don't have the tools right now to be taking these fights, but... They almost have to be looking for pickoffs to come back into this game and to make space for anti-mage. I mean, if they don't get pickoffs right now, they're just going to lose their towers one by one. Yeah. Meanwhile, Fiends Group on Simba. Call down goes. It wasn't long enough for the duration for uh, the Fiends Group. Meanwhile, though, they're going to just throw up the Illusion Orb. He comes and says, how are you? Yeah. Throws up the Orb and gets the kill. And I mean, just the one good him. thing about all these small engagements is that they are creating a lot of space for Kuroki. And Kuroki... Once these fights happen, he has information, which he can then use to farm the entire map, but... I mean, when you're on the wrong end of every trade and you're just getting farm on one hero, I mean, like we said, Empire have the tools to deal with a single core that's farmed. They have the grip and the black hole, so... Yeah. I mean, it would be better if there weren't really the late game cores that Empire have. I mean, you could talk about Scandal, he's maybe a late game core, but more so than anything else, a Gyrocopter late game is nothing to scoff at. I mean, he's got a BKB and a Yasha, and he can certainly right click when it comes down to it later on in the game. He could blow up the enemy team with a couple of flat cannon hits if he gets like an MKB, maybe a Satanic at some point, like a Manta style, a Butterfly or something. I mean, they have potential. And on top of that, Puck is going to go for a Midas, which we saw yesterday from DK Phobos. So they're probably going to pick up a Hex for him. And then Anti-Mage is forced to think about what his itemization is. Do I go for BKB? Like, And it, this is before he even has a Yash or a Manta style coming out for the Anti-Mage. So already he has to think about, what am I going to do to avoid dying later on in the game? And I, I really have to say, I'm very impressed by Scandal's item choice this game. You know, usually we would see... You know, a point booster and then maybe a BKB or a point booster into Ags, but he intelligently goes for the plate mail, knowing that he's against this Elder Titan hero who, you know, his natural order reduces all of your base armor, but when you have the 10 armor on top with the plate mail, I mean, he has plus 13 armor, so only the 6 going to be reduced once that natural order is maxed, so still going to be tanky in these fights and not fall to the physical damage of Team Secret. Yeah. And this just feels... It's certainly not over by any stretch of the imagination, but if you look at the net worth chart, man, like, look at this. This is actually just frightening if you're a Secret fan. There is one person in the top five for Secret, and that is Crow, which, luckily, he's at the second place position, but... Yeah. Um, I mean, you look at Jarrocraft, he's already at 10k in net worth right now, and it's only going to get worse the more they lose, the more towers they lose, and, and eventually Empire are going to look to take Roshan as well. I mean, that shouldn't be too far off the radar, I think. I don't know when they take it, but they can get into the Rush Pit pretty soon if they wanted to. Mm. Uh oh, Kuroki getting chased down. He's just got a static link, 112 damage, and Kuro's got a TP away. And yeah, he's back to the base already. Well, yep. and honestly, I don't even think Empire are in much of a hurry this game. You know, they have complete map control. They can pretty much do whatever they want. They can continue to farm up on all their cores. And it's pretty much going to be a 4-core versus a 1-core, or I would say maybe a 2-core because you have the Furion as well, but I mean Furion having real struggles in this game, not even up to the Maelstrom yet at 20 minutes in the game on top of his treads, and Empire are going to go ahead and just do the safe play, go for the Roshan, just get further and further ahead, they're in no real hurry this game, I think their late game is completely fine as they have the Enigma, I do oh. miss that kill on... I saw him walking so over here. He was thinking about counter-warding the sentry, and he just stood around there for way too long. I'm like, I don't know if he should be there solo. He goes down to Kuroki. He picks up a kill. That's actually pretty big. They were going to go for Roche, but now they're going to try to fight or at well, least push this wave out mid. They were actually unable to go for Roche because No-Tail was actually waiting for that Roche, and it looks like he was there the entire time, and he was just spamming the Astral Spirits and the Echo Stomps into the Roche pit, and you yeah. actually... I mean, once it's actually quite difficult to tank Roshan when you're constantly getting spammed with these spirits and the Echo Stomp because, you know, you remove the armor, the magic resistance, so then these stomps are coming out and they're just doing so much damage and they weren't able to tank up Rosh, so they had to abandon that plan. I mean, also they have the Scout Hawk, which is going to be over at Rosh 90% of the time from S4 now. And they have a pretty good understanding that that's going to be a pretty big objective if they don't see anybody on the map, so... Uh, Empire, Silent, and Yoki have carved out a little hole for themselves, a fortress, uh, if you will. And they're going to try to get towards the lane. And luckily, Simba is sitting pretty far back. He does have his Maelstrom, by the way. Um, and I don't know if he's going to get ganked or not. 
They don't have the Bane here yet. He's walking towards the lane currently. Yoki could always jump in and Dream Coil if he wanted to, but uh, the Triant is going to scout him out. So, again, this is really, I think Simba's done a nice job of scouting with these Triants throughout the game. He's, it's almost like Lycan Wolves to a certain extent, just kind of being annoying and getting vision. And this guy actually gives enough information for Secret to say, hey, maybe we can take a push down on bottom and try to go for this tier 1 tower. We'll see if Empire decide to rotate for this or try to push into the top lane. Yep, so they are going to transition into this bottom push. Scandal picks up his Aghanim Scepter on top of his plate mail, so he's going to have be able to put a lot of pressure onto the towers of Team Secret. I would actually like to see a pipe coming out for Empire on one of these heroes. I know they do have the mechanism on Enigma, but... I would actually prefer to see a pipe coming out from Always Wanna Fly instead of this BKB. Uh, Secret have pretty good tools at dealing with the black hole, with the roar and the mana void. Yeah, I mean, and you talked about this, and against a, a Keeper of the Light, it's almost inevitable that you're going to pick up the pipe anyways. And not only that, against the Astral as well. I mean, like, they have, they have plenty of ways to Dyer's dish out the magical damage for Secret. So, it's going to be an issue, but... I've, I don't know. Do you feel like Empire could put more pressure on? Because I feel like they're giving Kuroki a lot of time to farm here. And he's already back up to 173 CS. Again, he's he's very close to the net worth of the Gyrocopter now. He's about Whoa. to lead pretty soon. I think uh, Empire don't actually need to put on pressure as long as they're keeping up with farm. Or Sarah, side on the bottom silence. lane. Astral's gonna go. He's dead. They jump in. Kuroki got recalled as well. Always wanna fly. He's looking for a black hole. He's gonna find it on Kuroki. And now the static lane going as well. They're gonna jump in. Waiting Rift is gonna go. Kuroki is in trouble. The Dream Coil. They're gonna pick up the kill. A core for a core. Carry for a carry. Kuro for silent. And that'll be it as far as the trades are concerned. Although mid lane, they are pushing into the mid tier one tower. And they probably will take this. Hmm. Pretty interesting trade. Secret have actually done a, a really excellent job in the last five minutes of this game. I mean, if you've watched their movement, they had Furion on the top lane. He was able to get the attention of three Empire heroes. They weren't actually able to end up killing him. You know, they scouted and stopped a Roshan attempt. They were able to put pressure on the bottom lane. They picked up a kill on Gyro, then transitioned into mid, which forced all of Empire's heroes back to defend, and they got a lot of pressure on the mid tower. They're actually doing a really good job considering their deficit, and they've actually clawed back 2,500 gold worth in the last five minutes, and a decent amount of experience. So they're actually being extremely efficient with their map movement, and like I said, I think it's fine for Empire not to maybe put on a lot of pressure, but they can't be falling behind in terms of gold and experience, because we talked about this before. In the late game, I think Empire match up perfectly fine against Secret, but it all depends. I mean, at that point, it depends on gold and farm on all the heroes, so. Yeah, and right now, at this point, it honestly feels like Empire aren't getting as much out of the map anymore. There are, Kuroki's getting plenty in terms of his CS, um, and you see, you know, Empire are more kind of just struggling to find ganks. They've been hiding in the tree lines looking for kills on, like, Simba, where you talked about the heroes rotated over. So now it becomes a game of what can we do in the next couple of minutes for Empire. The BKB has been done for a while for this Gyrocopter. They got a kill on Kuroki. That was great, yes, but they also lost Gyro in the process. And there's going to be a smoke coming out from Secret. They're going to continue to put pressure all over the map. They're looking for somebody. S4 is going to be right behind No Tail. They have the Earth Splitter. They'll have the Roar as well. He's got the Blink Dagger. They have the, the Scout Hawk as well. They're going to jump maybe on top lane. Solo is going to get roared up. There's going to be the actual Earth Splitter. And you're dead, my friend. 3 2 2 indeed. He is done. He'll fall. And uh, looks like S4 will be the one taking the kill. So we will see. Silent head towards the mid lane with the Demon Edge. He's got the Yasha. And uh, what else Hold we got going second. on? Looks like he's going to be picking up the MKB more than likely. Top lane S4 continues to go. Blink Dagger and Vlad's for S4. So not bad. Still might get bots next. There's going to be the TP coming in. Stomp's going to go. It's going to stop. No, Scandal actually avoids it narrowly. The TP timing was just a bit delayed. Silent coming through. He's going to flat cannon or rather rocket barrage this creep camp. And they'll continue to farm as... Actually, Secret are making their home in the top lane, and Kroki continues to farm. Mantis Sal is done. He's got 1,500 gold in the bank as well. So now the choice is, or the question is rather, what is his next Radiant's item choice? What does he go attack. for? So. Meanwhile, yeah, it is going to be Salen going for the MKB, and he's not too far off. He's got to pop the call down. He'll throw that up mid lane. He'll just try to farm a bit quicker. 
and it's kind of come to this game of just split pushing and farming and getting what kills you can. The early game was super aggressive. It was like a couple of heroes dead all over the map. The black holes were fantastic from Always Want to Fly, but that has since come and passed. And I feel like Croak is just saying, listen, just give me a chance to get to the late game and I will do the best that I possibly can to carry this game for you. And he's done a really good job. However, there's a Smoke of the Seat gang coming in. Solo's going to lead the way. Are they going to have this popped? They do spot, scout them out. No Tail's going to be in some trouble. There's going to be the Waiting Rift. There is going to be Dream Pearl if they want to use it, and they will. And it looks like No Tail should fall here. The Rocket Barrage going in. They blow up. Poor No Tail. So he goes down, and a nice pickoff coming in from Yoki, who's on a Mega Kill streak. But that's not the hero they wanted. You know what they wanted. They wanted Kuroki. And I'm back. So what has happened in the last... They Minute smoked so up. That I was gone. All right, so Secret smoked up top. They killed Solo. Solo and Empire smoked the bottom. They killed No Tail, and now they're going to Roche. That's okay. actually in, in a nutshell. That's just that's all that's happened. All right, so they are going to get up this Roche in for free. It looks like they might try to defend, but I think it's just too late at this point to try oh, to defend this Roche. That Illuminate doesn't feel very good. S4 gonna jump in. He's looking for Aurora. He's out of position now. Fiend's Grip might go. He's got the Nightmare. He actually has no Fiend's Grip. He just used it. His S4 is gonna get Yuled up in the air. That's gonna be by Yoki. The Homing Missile did go. Axis is gonna fly. The Illuminate is gonna do a lot of damage. No, it only hits on his solo. Always wanna fly. Going up to the high ground now. He won't find anybody as they've all uh, made their way out of the lane. And so S4 with a bit of an aggressive play. You said, yeah, they probably shouldn't go for this and they didn't listen. They went for it anyway. <laughs> How unfortunate. Oh, that's the Aegis now. Who did, who picked that up? There's uh, Scandal having it. All right. So we haven't talked about Scandal. He's got Aghanims. He's going for a BKB next as well. He's got his plate mail. He's got to sell his wand more than likely. Um, and I have the Storm is at level 3 as he just hits level 16 as well. So, mm. not bad. Tis mine. Solo continues to farm top. He'll pick up a Blink Tagger. That's nice. 28 minutes in. Luxury item coming out for him as he's been playing the 5 position. And I think obviously getting the BKB and the mech. So he's actually up to a 2,000 gold as well. Now, this is probably when you'll see the pipe. I don't think anyone's building it for Empire. MKB now done for Silent as well. Kuroki continuing to farm across the map here for Secret. He's up to 4,000. What is the next item choice here for Kuroki at 4L? Hmm. There's actually quite a few items that he could be going for. Could be the heart. I think heart is the most unlikely choice. Ah, it's actually so hard to itemize this Kuroki this game. Because he might think of... I mean, you don't really want to go BKB against these heroes, but they do so much magical damage. Maybe he's just going to opt for the butterfly. And you also don't really want to make a heart because of midnight pulse, because then you're just giving him more damage. So hmm, it's actually quite difficult to itemize if you're Kuroki this game. Yoki, you did not need that Drew Quell, my friend. That was unnecessary at the very best. But at the same time, they get the kill regardless. Um, I, I certainly would not want to be in Kroki's shoes this game. He has the weight of the world on top yeah. of his, his shoulders. There's just so many things to deal with this game. He's got the Fiend's Grip, the Black Hole, you know, the Silence from Puck, the damage coming out from Gyrocopter, so... It's quite a difficult game cut to itemize against, and... I mean, Yoki is also getting extremely farmed on this puck. Probably going to see the sheep next. Hmm, no tail. Fiend's Grip is going to go. Are they going to be able to kill him? Illusory Orb? The Waiting Rift should fly, and that'll be the kill for Yoki, who's wicked sick. And they get the free gem as well. Slow is trying to TP out. Puppy's here as well. He is alone, by the way. Simple is thinking about TPing in. And he's lucky they didn't decide to dive that tier 2 tower, I think. They might have been able to get that kill, but... Well, it's going to be the Heart of Trash coming out for the Anti-Mage. What do you think about the choice? Yeah, I mean, he probably has to go hurt just so that he doesn't die to these single target ults, but it looks like Simba does get the mini bash coming out from MKB to cancel his TP and doesn't have falling, but I mean, at the same time, you're just giving extra damage to the Midnight Pulse, which has 5.25% damage per second, so... It's give and take. At least you have a bigger HP pool, but at the same yeah. time, yeah, you're right. I mean, but... I think he has to go this item. And we'll most likely see either the Butterfly or Abyssal coming out next. And the problem is, though, it's just like the fact that he's going for tankiness means that it doesn't. I mean, Silent's not going to really care about that. He has an MKB. He's going to have Yasha. He's level 20. His damage is it's already hitting close to 300 at this point for the gyrocopter. And again, this is without all of the abilities we've been talking about all game. 
So mm -hmm. you really have to hope that somehow Secret can get back into it. Maybe, I mean, Simba gets something, but Simba has nothing this game. He's got a Blink Dagger and a Maelstrom, but there is a Roar in the jungle. It's going to be on Always Want to Fly. The Axes are going to go. The Mana Boy, he BKBs. He cannot get the Black Hole off. There's the Blink Forward. Silent is alone, by the way. There's the Sprout up in Silent. Might be some trouble with the Quelling Blade. Kuroki enters the pit, but there's the Dream Call, the Waiting Rift as well. Kuroki's getting low. He's going to try to blink, but cannot make it out. Yule Scepter is going to go. That'll be on to S4. And Empire, Yoki tearing it around again with great play. He's got Blink in one second. Will they chase this? They're going to go up there looking for Simba. He's teeping out already. But they've already gotten the kill on Kuroki, and that's a bigger deal than losing the Enigma by far. Ooh. Oh, are we done yet? Nope, Phoenix Group goes a no-tail. I thought we were done. No, no such luck for Secret. Statically, he's going to go, and Big Daddy's going to fall as well. And Empire, they're playing well, man. And, that, I mean, Secret are doing the right thing. They're split-pushing. They're getting kills across the map, but they're just losing too many heroes in the process of doing so. Yeah. Really rough situation for them to be in, but... And every time this anti-mage goes down, I would say their chance of victory diminishes each time... Just, he's just a single core against all of these cores from Empire, and it's just so difficult to play in this game if they don't have an advantage, and since they're already behind in gold and experience, not an easy game for Secret. I mean, they can try to continue to split push, but then they're putting themselves at risk to being Blink Fiend Script or Blink Black Hold, and it doesn't really matter if they use these ultimates just to find a single pickoff, because, I mean, what does Secret have after the Anti-Mage is done? Oh, not this much. This nature's prophet isn't <laughs> this, farmed. Yeah, yeah, Maelstrom. A Blink Dagger Maelstrom. Maybe I mean, a big Illuminate Roar, but... Possibly when he gets farmed, they might have a chance, but at the current point of the game, I mean, they just don't have enough damage without the anti-mage. Oh, I agree they with can, you 100%. They can I just mean, focus all their spells on AM. This nature's prophet needs more. I think if he had more, then all of a sudden Secret have maybe a really... Good shot. I mean, Kuroki, I don't think he can 1v5 right now, and, and he's not even close. And he, he won't, I don't think, ever be close to that situation. I mean, even if he gets, let's say, like a butterfly, there's already an MKB. Even if he gets on Abyssal, I mean, is that going to be enough? Even if he gets a Manta, is that going to be enough to stay alive in some of these engagements? I think Manta will help him survive a bit more. Or he already has Manta, rather. I'm, I'm actually losing it. Okay. He went that second. Yeah. That's... I've lost it. Guys, I'm going to blame gonna it on be, illness. There's going to be the Hex coming up from Yoki as his second... Or his... Well, I would say his second item on Buckus. He got the Yules first and the Blink Midas, but... Second big item. Yeah, that that actually just makes... It's so I mean, difficult for him to make really farming offlane Puck actually playing a really good game. Well, so what we saw yesterday from DK Phobos on Virtus mm -hmm. Propolar when he played Puck. I think uh, he went for a It was similar. He definitely got a Midas. Yeah, similar. Was it Phobos that went Midas or was that Mag that went Midas? No, Mag went Midas. Oh, you might be right. I think it, it might have been Mag. Yeah. Mm, I he can't went remember. for a very odd item build after that, though. He went for a, uh, a Shiva's Guard, which I didn't agree with in that particular game. Well, that was, uh, I think, a rough game for them, but... Axe is now done uh, for Keep of the Light for Puppies, so he's got that going. He also has a Vitality Booster top lane. Simba's going to try to TP away, and he will make it out, as Scandal has no way of stopping a TP. So, meanwhile, there's going to be the Fiend's Grip. Call down going with the Blinding Light. That's going to be huge. Silent won't be able to hit his right clicks. Kuroki, he might be able to get out and will. Now the Roar coming in, and Silent and Solo in trouble. This could be the fight they're looking for. Silent's going to fall. Solo is going to nightmare himself, but only to his demise. And that means that they will get the kill and the gem. Two big pickoffs coming in. Kuroki stays alive. And that blinding light, Puppy being there with that ability, and of course not popping the BKB to get that off, was very important to making sure Kuroki survives. Actually, he does have the MKB. What am I talking about? It doesn't even matter. All right. I'm losing it still. It's okay. So the Mjolnir is picked up in Furion. So Simba pushing himself closer to relevance, I would say. Just, I mean... He's pretty much irrelevant in this game at the moment. He doesn't really do that much damage. He's not really a split push threat because of all of the... I mean, they can actually kill him with... There's so many threats against him right now when he tries to split push. So he's having a really rough game. Maybe gonna... I think he's gonna go for a BKB next item just so that he can provide some teamfight damage and possibly complement the AM. Well, they need something to work yeah. with here. I mean, Kuroki is up to 4,000 gold, so he's going to be looking at his next item soon. Like I said, it's probably either going to be that Butterfly or Abyssal next. I would actually think he's going to go Butterfly. 
Just... It's, I mean, it's actually such a hard call. Even if he maybe, gets butterfly, there's still the MKB. I mean, there's already the MKB finish, but... Alright, so maybe we'll actually just see an Abyssal Blade. That's it, Assault Dress done. BKB goes, they don't want to get stomped up. Now Malphite is about to fly on Puppy. Relocate him. There's going to be the Black Hole. Yule Scepter is going to go as well. Raining Rift. This Black Hole is not doing much for Kuroki. He's got a Manta out. Scandal taking a lot of damage. BKB is popped. He's trying to go to work. Big Dream Cold coming in, but the Mana Boy just decimates that poor Enigma. But Kuroki getting Phoenix Grip. Right clicked out. He has to blink away. The Homing Missile is coming through, but it's still too far. And they will blink away Simba Hill TP out as well. A one-for-one -one exchange. Yule Scepter, that'll be up on Silent. He can't chase any further. Takes an Illuminate to the phase, but he's fine. And they'll all back away. The yeah, first big fight in some time breaks out. Well, That fight went surprisingly well for Secret, considering that they black holed the Anti-Mage, and the Razor stole 224 damage from Anti-Mage, but the fight's still going pretty decently for Secret, you know. Only dropping the... Mid Beastmaster for the Enigma. I would say a very good trade if you're on the side of Secret. And they got 37 minutes in, and they're still somehow clawing out of this game. And again, they're down. Actually, they've caught up in net worth by quite a bit. There was a point where they were down maybe 10,000 net worth. It's it's actually very close to even at this point. 2,500 net worth lead, and the experience is even out as well. It's up to 6,000. And uh, Empire now not as strong as they once were, but at the same time, we keep talking about it. It's really just the anti-mage at this point. However, the team fights are starting to go well. Solo's gonna get caught up. There's the man to stop Kuroki. He has the mana void. It's not enough damage. Solo's getting low. The TP and Simba wants this to Nightmare going in as well. He's gonna get mecked up and he might stay alive. The Astro coming through. Solo's still alive. Stop. He gets forced up even further. Solo's somehow still alive. But Kuroki gets hexed up as well. This could be a big problem. He's in some trouble. The right click is more than enough. Yoki gets the kill with the Illusory Orb coming through. Just too much of a chase coming out from Secret. They chased right into the enemy team of the Empire, and now they're going to head to the Rose Pit, or at least think about it. They might be able to get in there and take it, or they might just try to keep going here, push out some lanes, and... Mm, it's so difficult to rush against Secret's lineup, just because they can constantly spam the spirits into the pit. Mana Leak's going to go. Scandal really can't afford not to move any further, otherwise he's going to get stunned up. He doesn't get blinding lighted, so he gets pushed back even further. His mana's Puppy almost completely gone. now has his Aghanim Scepter, so... It's going to have that additional effect of always having his ults on and the Illuminate heal during the day. It's pretty nice to have. Yeah. Pretty good ability at that point. I mean, it's almost... I think the part of the reason why people have been picking uh, for the lights since the patch is because of the Agon Scepter, so... I mean, it's just too strong to ignore when you can get the farm for it. The heal's pretty damn good. Uh, Agatum's Scepter is done for the Beastmaster. We haven't checked the items of Secret, with the exception of the Anti-Mage, for some time. Um, but it's about as... It's it's pretty much where we left it. I mean, with the exception of this Axe for S4, I haven't seen anything come out in the past couple of minutes here for Secret. And really, for either squad, the Assault Trust, like I said, is done for the Razor, which is fine, but... Do we now, see down it? bottom. Uh, any items on the Courier? It looks like um, Puppy does finish up a Force Staff, which I think he just completed. Brookie has a Hyperstone, by the way. I think that's an Assault for us. Um, is he going Mjolnir again? We could, I've seen Mjolnir too on him, yeah. He's gonna go Mjolnir, I think. Hmm. Mm, a Mjolnir. I mean, they already have one on to Simba, so that would actually be sort of confusing to me. No, I know, it is gonna dress. be a DSC. Yeah, I mean, I think he gets it because they already have one on the opposing team, and it's like an arms race. You kind of have to go for one. Meanwhile, they're going to jump in. Nightmare coming into the silo, but he gets blown up. That's a huge pickoff. He does have buyback. They're going to chase this down, perhaps. He hasn't bought back yet, but there's a mana boy. That blows up the poor Bane, and now Secret. They've taken two kills. What else can they get done? Sprouts up on Scandal. S4 coming in. He doesn't have Roar. They're going to jump in. There's the BKB Croak. He's static link going through. He's going to lose some damage. 56 already. 84 still going. The stomp doesn't really do much. 112 damage gone. Silent buys back. They want to avoid the BKB, but very good for Secret to force out the buyback of Silent, force out the BKB of Scandal, and then back away heartedly. And very importantly there, um... Kuroki put his Manta Illusions on to always want to fly, and always want to fly had no mana for any of his abilities. He had to Soul Ring to get his mechanism off, and I'm not sure why they bought back on Silent. Maybe they didn't have great communication, but always want to fly was not in fighting position, as he had no mana. And I think the AC choice is pretty good here. It's definitely better than a Butterfly, since the MKB already completed on the gyrocopter and we'll, it'll give him additional resistance against the physical damage coming out from Team Empire. Mm -hmm. 
And silence, uh, right click damage, not gonna be as hefty, but still. He's gotta be scared. I mean, Kurok has been playing this really well. The only time that's really been an issue is when he walks up to the high ground or he gets hexed and he has, like, no vision. He just can't, like, he obviously can't mance out of that and just gets brought down and they'll get Black Hole or something off. It's just those, those things that you can't get out of that's been an issue for him thus far. But, I mean, he's done a really good job of avoiding fights that are really bad. And he's actually just fought really well. Although he is only 4 4 0, he has 371 last hits. He's eclipsing the gyrocopter by about 70. Um, and he has the highest net worth in the game. We talked about, could Kuroki 1v5, or at least carry his team to victory? And it's it's not looking that unlikely anymore. In fact, they're looking really good. But Yoki jumps in, the waiting rift misses, S4 blinks away immediately, but the Dream Coil is there. They're going to use the uh, Mana Leak onto Yoki. He's got a jaunt away as well, but he's more than fine. Just going to stand mean, still while the Mana Leak playing goes. these team fights way better. I, I feel like Empire should be winning these team fight engagements, but... Secret are doing a really good job kiting around these BKBs, not allowing themselves to get hold, instantly cancelling these Fiend Grips whenever they come out, and not allowing this AoE composition from Empire to do its job. Honestly, I, Yoki was doing so well with the Dream Coils early on, and there's not even really any BKBs. They're just kind of avoiding Yoki at all costs. They know that if they get coiled, there's a good chance they're going to get Black Hold as well. And mm -hmm. now with Puppy having a four staff, they're going to be able to kite even further, like you talked about. So for Empire, it's almost feel like this is a really, really tough situation to be in because yep. they haven't taken a tier two tower or even a tower since like the twenty minute mark. And Secret are they've already taken one tier two in the top lane. They're looking to pressure both mid and bottom at the same time. They can do so with Simba, who by the way does finish up his BKB, has three K gold in the bank, and Empire, they're getting sick. They're getting sick of this stuff. They're looking for more, but they can't really find anything to, to work with. And in fact, they're going to get the Courier. Simba just TP's in. Gets the Courier. TP's out. Easy thousand gold for his team. Next up, though, it's going to be on to Puppy. They might get a kill here. Dream Coil is about to go, maybe. Yule Scepter is up. Stomp's going to fly as well. Puppy did get Malphite. Scandal comes in. Forced after the high ground. They might jaunt up here. Yoki will, but he's not going to chase this. And again, the kiting continues. Astral, Roar's gonna go out of Yoki. S4 wants to fight. Solo does blink over. S4 actually gets homing missile call down. It's gonna zone them out. Doesn't really do any damage. Illuminate hits onto a couple heroes, backs them away. Oh, and Simba just continues bottom. Scandal, mana leaked up. Stomp as well. Can they get any kills here? Kuroki comes in. BKB, but there's the black hole. Where's the flat cannon? Silence already dead for 100 seconds. Kuroki's now gonna man fight. Yoki waiting rifts it up, but is that gonna do anything? Always wanna fly. He's got mana leaked as well. He's done. He's gonna fall to Kuroki. And that's gonna be the Beastmaster getting the kill. Yoki getting chased down. There's the phase shift. Stomp might go through. He will blink away. Now Kuroki going further. The sprout up onto Solo. 3 2 2 indeed. Kuroki gets yet another kill. Actually, Simba getting involved there. And now they're gonna head to the bottom tier 2 tower. And Secret. Well, 44 minutes in, and we talked about it. This is when the anti mage gets strongest. Yep. He's doing some damn work now. I mean, really unbelievable play from Secret, and I think a lot of mistakes coming out from Empire. The... Roar, Scandal, he can't afford to die here. He is in some trouble, taking so much right click. The man is gonna go, he's stunned up, Kuroki can jump on him if he wants to. Right click from Simba, he's gonna go down. The Maelstrom procs get the kill. They're gonna take the tier three down bottom. They're gonna take a set of racks here. Secret, they were down 10k gold, they're taking a set of racks. They're probably gonna take this game. There is no buyback on Silent. And there's no buyback on the Enigma or on the Bay, but they'll be up in 15 seconds. They're going to go for the second tier 3 of the game, and they might be able to take a second Rax as well. No buyback, no respawn for 30 seconds of Silent. Puppy going to where Kuroki leading the way, S4 and Simple right clicking as well. One more set of Rax done, they're going to go for the whole kit and caboodle. They're going to take the Mega Creeps as well. The tier 3 tower top is going to fall, and Secret, somehow, they pull one out of the Magic Cat. And they're not done yet, but always want to fly. He's got no black hole. Kuroki's going to jump at the Maelstrom. The Mjolnir is up on him. Puppy does get set up with the Malphite. They are looking for this range racks. There are melee racks down in this uh, top racks here. Empire are trying to defend this with their lives. It's going to be kind of tough. Kuroki's is going to run back into the base. He's going to just cleave away at these Eidolons. Buyback from Scandal. Nightmare is up on Kuroki. They will have Fiends. Solo does take a hit from the Illuminate. S4 roars up Solo. The four staff back out onto Kuroki. Solo trying to man fight. S4 is taking all of the damage here. Flat Cannon goes. The stop. They will get at least S4. They blink further. Yoki, Yule Scepter. That'll be up onto No Tail. He has a gem. He, in fact, has two gems. 
There's gonna be the Midnight Pulse, but he cannot get the kill. No Malphite, the man avoid, Kuroki man's up, but he is alone. Static Link's gonna go, he's got no blink for a second. He's gonna get forced away, but the Drip Pulse snaps and he's gonna get stunned. Silent gets a double kill, but Secret are more than happy with what they've just accomplished, although Puppy should die on top of it. They've taken two sets of racks. You see, Simba is still pushing at bottom. They want to take all of the huts as well along with it. And the bottom racks is exposed as well. The range racks has taken a hit. The melee racks is low. And they've taken the tier 3 tower. This is Secret's game to lose out of nowhere. Yep. And Secret even now completing his Scythe of Ice. So, I mean Simba, sorry. And Simba actually having quite the comeback in this game. He was struggling mightily for probably the first 20 to 25 minutes. But able to find his footing. And... Oh, Secret are just so good in the late game. I mean, it's like, it's pretty unbelievable to watch. They do this pretty much every game yes. where they're behind like this, and it's amazing to watch. It's not even just against Empire, though. It's against, like, every team that this happens, against the best teams in the world. They'll just be so far behind, and then just out of sheer positioning, it feels like, they, yeah, they just, just win the game. They just their the enemy in the, these team fights, and... Pretty incredible. I think Puppy really doing a fantastic job on this Keeper of the Light. Constantly being a pest to all the heroes on Empire with this mana leak and the blinding light. And it's proving to be a real problem for Empire. We were so pessimistic about 20 minutes ago. I I didn't know if there was any mm, way that Secret could I mean, take this game. but To be perfectly fair, I think if you say both teams are equally skilled and they're taking team fights that are... You know, taking like good team fights on both sides, then I think Empire should have won this game. But you know, Secret, I would say pretty much just outplaying Empire in these team engagements. Yeah, Kuroki recalled in. He's gonna go for solo now, and he's just gonna bash him up once, twice. Mana boy dead. Poor solo again. Down to the earth. He's dead for 62 seconds. And Secret are just going to continue onwards here and, and try to secure this victory. They will jump on top of no Tail down in this uh, Roche Pit area. Roar's going to go on to Silent, but what follow-up do they have? Refresh is going to go. That'll be from S4. Silent pops the BKB. He does have the Lincoln Spear on top of him, the active. Always want to fly is here with the hole, but he's not going to use it just for S4. All the meanwhile, top lane is getting pushed in, and I think the Raxes are about to fall. So S4 is leading them on a wild goose chase. Kuroki takes the top range. Rax Scandal now getting bashed hit. Now another bash going, but he won't get a second or third, rather, and Skittle just backs away, and Kroki continues on with the Melee Rax. Assault Kuras going and reducing the, the building's armor. It's going to fall, and that's going to be it. Meg Megas are here, and Simba actually gets a kill in the mid lane onto Silent, who gets caught out of position. No buyback. GG is called. Secret take the game at 50 minutes in an impossible fashion. Always want to fly with a frustration black hole onto Puppy. Can't even get the kill. Yoki's bashed up. What a way to end the game. Secret Whoa. come around. And they show everybody who's dominant in the late game with a well-timed performance from Kuroki and Ko. Ooh, I mean, man. what can you say? They just outplay them in teamfights straight up. I mean, really well played, I would say, by the supports of Puppy and No-Tail. Using these supports pretty much to their fullest potential.